everybody, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. I'm having technical difficulties this morning, so please bear with me. I was turning the volume up on my iPad and it wanted to be dumb dumb. So, anyway, whew, I'm hot, I'm tired already, and it's not even 10 o'clock. But it's Monday, so, and... You know, I don't like Monday and bleh, so, but that's okay. So, if, let's get your kids out and you can diamond paint with me and we'll talk and I'll tell you what's been going on lately. Um, not really a whole lot's been going on. Uh, I did get, um... Just today, I've been trying to get laundry done. I put a couple loads in because, uh, yeah, we needed them. And um, then did that, and now I'm, like, really, really hot. I'm sweating, and I wanted to get it done before it started raining. Or not started raining because I, I wanted to get it done before it got too, too hot outside. And... So I did, and uh, it's uh, it's gonna be really hot today. And I told Scott, I told little dude this morning that it was gonna be hot today, and he didn't have to wear his. Uh, he has uh, like a sweatshirt jacket type thing that he likes to wear, and he's like. Well, I still want to wear it. I'm like, okay, fine. You know what? You're going to be hot. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to complain. So he did that. And I told him, I said, well, it'll probably be too hot this afternoon for you to wear at home. I said, you can put it in your book bag. And he just looked at me and he was like, I'm going to wear it home. I was like, okay, mm hmm. Go for it. Do what, you know, what makes you, you know. So he he did that. He got mad at me this morning because I got so busy doing stuff around the house that I had laid his clothes out. And when he got up, because he got up the same time I did. And so I laid his clothes out and I told him, I said, you know, you need to get dressed in a few minutes. So, you know, just make sure you get dressed and he looked at me he's like okay so about mm, 7 30 i'm standing there you know doing putting dishes in the dishwasher and he looks at me he's like um did you forget something i said what he says i'm mad at you i said why are you mad at me he says because you forgot to tell me to get dressed and i said sweetie i told you to get dressed earlier and i said but you need to get dressed because um it's, you know, 7.30 and, you know, you're going to be going to have to get ready to go to school. <laughs> and he says, well, that's what I came out here to tell you. Because he stomped out here. I mean, it wasn't, he wasn't, like, walking. He was stomping his little self out here and had this look on his face that, you know, he was mad. And I said, okay, you're mad. I, I understand. I'm sorry. Mommy forgot. And, uh. It's just funny because he gets like that and when he does, oh my gosh. And um, I said, why are you so mad? And he just looked at me and he says, you got to remember to tell me these things. Okay. And usually I don't have to tell him to get dressed, which, you know, I was kind of shocked when he was like, you know, you forgot to tell me to get dressed. And okay, I'm sorry. I can't remember, you know, everything. So he's, yeah. <sighs> so, but other than that, it's just, we've had a really quiet weekend. I spent um, Saturday night with the kids. We watched, you know, some a TV show, a movie. Um, then Sunday, I didn't do a whole lot um, except for read. I started reading again, and um, 
I'll discuss that in a minute. But um, I started reading again, so I did that, and um, that was basically, you know, my weekend, just reading and um, all that kind of junk. Um, Justin, the interview, he did not have the interview. He's supposed to have it, I guess, one day this week. I don't know. I'm really, this is like the second time now, and I'm really getting fed up with, you know, the whole situation because um, he, uh, he stayed after school to wait for the guy that was going to take him. And, well, I'm not sure what happened with that situation. And, but, I mean, he told me, and I kind of, I'm still trying to figure that situation out because um, he, uh, He wasn't happy when he came home and he was in a bad mood when he came home and I was trying to figure out why and I asked him I said dude what's wrong nothing just leave me alone okay so I left him alone and so I'm not really sure you know what the deal is with that I mean if this if something doesn't come of it this week I'm just going to tell Justin, you know, son, it's not worth, you know, you stressing out over waiting for, you know, your friend to take you. You can go get your bike and, or something. And he, uh, he's like, but it's just the point. And I, I mean, I get it, you know, when, I had that problem too. When somebody tells you that, you know, they're going to do something and then, you know, you're standing there waiting after school for them to come and, well, they don't, you know, they either can't, you know, take you or they wait until, you know, after you've missed the bus to tell you okay I can't take you and then you know like Friday my poor child had to walk home and I want to, to tell you the truth I wasn't very happy about the situation just because you know it, it just it, it irritated me because you know Justin was going on you know this guy saying you know I'll take you and you know, and I'll take you home and all this kind of stuff. And it, it you know, and I, I mean, I can get why Justin was kind of irritated. And, and I told Justin, I said, if I had a car, I'd take you myself. And, you know, that way it wouldn't have to solve the problem. But that didn't happen. So now we're just kind of, I guess, playing it by ear, seeing what happens. And like I told Justin, we'll see what happens by the end of the week. And if nothing comes of it, then he can find something else. So, but, and I did get some haul. Now it's not diamond painting or cross stitch related, but I, like I said earlier, um, I started reading again and got three books in the mail so um, those came on Friday they were supposed to come Thursday but I don't know what happened with that situation this never they never showed up so but it was okay it was all good because um, I got them and I think I'm gonna have to end up getting another bookcase because um, I'm not gonna have room for all these books and 
Yeah. So, but that's okay. Um, one is a Patricia Cromwell book. It has three novels in one big book. And then the other two are Tammy um, Hogue, which I've never, ever read her books. I've read one, and I don't... Well, no, I'm sitting, yes, I see, I'm sitting here contradicting myself. I've read one a long time ago, and I can't remember why I never read any more of her books. I guess because at the time I just really wasn't, you know, into her kind of... I don't know, but I'm going to try them and see. I mean, I've read a couple from the library, so we'll see. But right now I'm reading the Patricia Cromwell one. I'm on the second novel. I told you I did reading this weekend. Ha! I was, I was going at it. And I got my Kindle Fire, so I read, I read from that today, uh, this weekend too. And um, I'm still trying to get used to it. It's kind of, oh my gosh, it's really small. And, you know, and I don't have a problem with it being small. It's just, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to because it's different than um, the Kindle Fire or just a regular Kindle. But um, it just takes, it's gonna take me some getting used to it because it, it doesn't have the same functions as I guess the Kindle Fire and it's completely different but which is all fine and good so I mean it's you know it still shows my library on my on my Kindle um, I can still you know get books from off of you know I can still buy books from there and it just be downloaded so it's kind of it's kind of neat. The only thing it doesn't have is Audible. And, um, I mean, if it does, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen it. But, um, it's, it's kind of neat. And I like it. So, it's, uh, it's very, very lightweight. So, I'm enjoying it. And, um, I mean, I'm just not used to the screen being so small, but that's okay. And, but, um, and I've, I've got one book on there I'm reading now. Actually, it's three in one, same thing. It's called um, The North and South Trilogy. It's about two families in um, the Civil War that they become friends with each other and you know how they're you know try they remain friends even though they're both one family's from the north one family's from the south so it's kind of I've always loved it it was a mini series so yeah that was a pretty it's, I'm in the middle of that so anyway um now on to now that we're talking about books, I'll get on to that. Um, I know some of you remember me saying that um, every Throw With Me on Friday was going to be for um, the, uh, you know, my book, you know, whatever, review, whatever you call it. I'm still going to do that. Um, I'm going to start that this Friday. And... Excuse me. Um, I, I'm i trying to decide if I want to start it Friday or next Friday. I'll probably start it this Friday. But um, that's going to be happening. And then also, I mean, it's just be me, you know, doing my diamond painting and talking about, you know, the books that I've read and whether or not I, you know, why did I do that? Um, whether or not, you know, I like the book or not. So, um, then I have decided, well, not decided, I was, uh, on Facebook the other day 
and I was, you know, going through all my Facebook groups, and I don't participate in, you know, I, I didn't when I was cross-stitching, and I was going through all my groups, and except for the ones that, you know, I own and I run, and, you know, I had a floss tube, and I stopped it, just because, you know, I felt like I was boring everybody, I guess. The same thing with the, you know, with the book thing, and I felt like I was boring everybody, but, you know, here's my thing. I'm going to do what I want. It's my channel, so, um... That's going to be starting next week. I did used to have floss tube videos on my channel. What happened to them, I'm not sure. I've looked and I can't, um, I can't find them. They might still be there. I might have to get on the computer and look. But um, I've looked and I don't see them. I'm not going to start with floss tube, you know, number one. I'm going to start where I left off. And I can't, I think it was like, you know, number 20, 30. I don't remember. So, I, I'm going to have to look on there and see what number I left off with. But, um, I just stopped cross-stitching because of those two things. I was feeling like, you know, nobody was interested and, you know, I just, I stopped. But I, that wasn't the only reason I stopped stitching. I stopped stitching because I started, um, you know, diamond painting. And so, I mean... So I'm going to be, you know, starting to do that um, this week. I have to figure out what I'm going to do here, over here with lighting because um, the light that's up here goes for my, um, is originally my cross stitch lamp. So I'm going to have to you know, move, maneuver that around, so, and figure that out, but, um, until, and just use something until, um, I can get a, another lamp that I can put by the recliner. I mean, and I'm going to, you know, do my stitch with me's and, you know, stuff like that and other things. Um, trying to think. But, um, really, oh, there it is. Um, But I wanted to introduce introduce those two series to you because I don't know what I'm going to call them yet or what they're going to be titled. It'll probably end up, like with the book one, probably end up being like, you know, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm still trying to, you know, come up with a title for it. Um, it's kind of... One of those things. I mean, I'm not good when it comes up with, you know, titles for stuff. So, I have to sit and think about it uh, for this week and see what's, you know, what I can come up with and go from there. 
Um, let's see. Oh, um. Next week, I will not have a live because I will be at my best friend's house. Um, she uh, is putting her pool up this week. So this week or this weekend, I will be there probably most of the day. Um, And I, I know I'm not going to have a live, you know, during the day and all depending on, you know, how we feel when we get home, there will be, will not be one. I haven't really, you know, decided yet. I will probably do, um, record a video you know, there, so everybody can see, you know, little dude and all that, but, um, as it stands now, I don't plan to have a live on Saturday, um, I was going to, you know, do one Wednesday, but, it would probably be in the afternoon only because, you know, I won't be able to do it Saturday. So I was going to do it Wednesday that way, you know, but, um, I'm still trying to work out the, uh, the, uh, particulars on that. So, um, as for diamond painting, as you can see, now I need to ask you all your opinion. And I know you all can't tell me right this minute. But, you know, comment in the video. Do you like the light on or off? You tell me. To me, I, to me the light being off is kind of hard for me. But you let me know. You tell me which one you prefer, and I'll try to work with it. Um, let's see. Diamond painting, as you guys can see, I am on Princess Aurora right now. This, you know, there's her face. Um, it's pretty. I mean, the colors are pretty. Um, it's a big one, I'm going to tell you. It's big, but I mean, I'm enjoying it. The colors are pretty. Um, there's not a lot of, um, confetti. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, there's some, but it's not, it's not a lot that, um, I, uh, have a problem with. But I do enjoy it. I did like I, I had to put because this is a Christmas gift. I put the supernatural one aside. So I'm sorry, guys. I know you all wanted to see that one done, and not only that, I was having some popping drills on that one, and um, hopefully, um, I laid a book over top of it. A big heavy book on top of it so I'm hoping that um, that will help even though I did use a uh, rolling pin on it of course which I'm trying to figure out I mean I think this is square and you know I don't I have I guess because I haven't really worked enough with squares that um, you know, maybe it's me. I don't know. I'm just, <coughs> mm, excuse me, goodness, mm, sorry. 
I mean, you know, maybe it's me. I don't know. We'll see. But after I get, you know, Christmas present presents done, then I will, you know, get back to it and see if I can get it to to do what it needs to do. Who knows? But other than that, um, but I'm moving right along with this. I feel like, you know, um, I'm moving right along with this. It's, I'm, uh, you know, like I said, I'm enjoying it. It's, oh my gosh, it's huge. It's a 70 by a hundred, which, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was this big. Anyway, oh, I do have to get new glasses. Um, the only bad part about this, okay. My insurance only allows now, I think it's every two years. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I was supposed to have the appointment today or no, no, next month. Well, my insurance doesn't allow me to get a new prescription until after January. But I've noticed that, you know, my eyes are starting to get a little, you know, sore. And I'm trying to, you know, not wear my eyes out. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed on this one, that, you know, these glasses will last until January because I need my glasses. I need to be able to read. I need to be able to see. And if I can't see, um, yeah, it's not gonna be pretty. So, Anyway, and then the other major thing was, okay, I'm usually good at remembering to get, when I go to the grocery store, to make sure that I get coffee. Well, tell me why I didn't remember this time. So, I went to make coffee, and there wasn't any. Been three days now. My poor head. I thought I was going to just totally, like, die. And it wasn't a migraine. I know what those feel like. But this was just a caffeine headache that wouldn't go away. So, I thought, okay, this isn't good. I'm not going to be able to do this. You know, I, it was so bad, like, um, yesterday, it was really bad because I was, you know, sitting here trying to dime a thing and it just, it, it hurt too much. And I thought, no, mm -mm, this isn't working. Well, I was, you know, I was laying there. I'd gone to lay down and... Miranda comes in. She's like, Mom, guess what I found? And I said, what did you find? And she comes out and she says, this, it was a um, cold coffee. And I was like, okay. So now I've only got to wait a couple of days and... We'll see, but hopefully I can survive the next couple of days without, um, without coffee, at least until I can get back to the grocery store, because I can't get back to the grocery store until Wednesday, so mm -hmm. y'all better pray for me, because 
I could kill somebody and it's not, mm -mm. I'm not, mm -mm. I, I, I'm not happy. I hate it. It just, mm. so anyhow. Um, let's see. I've been binge watching TV shows again. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Me and Netflix. Mm. We've become friends. And oh my gosh. Um, I started binge watching all Star Treks. And yeah. So I was doing that this weekend too. And um, just started listening to podcasts again because I hadn't been listening to them and um, didn't get to. And at the point, at that time, I was just in that, that mood. I wasn't really interested in the, you know, those, the podcast, even though I downloaded them. So I just started listening to them again. So, and it, you know, and it, it, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. You know, you're sitting here, and you can binge watch TV shows and Diamond Paint, but to me, now maybe this is just everybody else. Now, you you mean you guys can tell me? I don't know. To me, having listening to your music. Or listening to a podcast is so much better than it, it, it I don't know it helps me concentrate I don't know maybe it's just me I sometimes I guess you know with the tea like on TV I'd like to you know stop and watch every now and then but but maybe it's just me. I don't know. So um, that's it for today, guys. I know this is the shortest draw with me y'all have ever had. Um, also, before I ha end up getting off, I need to find like a hanging rack or some kind to hang my diamond paintings up on that aren't finished or in other words the ones that I just get um, I was just gonna get a hanging rack and you know hang them up with you know clothespins so um, I think that's what I'm gonna do but anyway <coughs> again I'm sorry this is like the shortest one there ever is and I'm really sorry but that's it for me guys and I hope everyone has a good week and again my uh, two new series will start one will start Friday which is the book one about um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet and then um, next week my floss tube will start again and I'll still do you know my diamond painting and everything I think what I'm gonna end up doing with my floss tube is I'm gonna have do that like every couple of weeks I haven't decided yet um, haven't got that far yet and the thinking process I'm still trying to work out you know things for that I mean I've seen a lot of people that do them every week a lot of people do them you know every couple weeks and every month so I'm you know debating and deciding but you know when I do I will let you all know when that will you know how that will go but um, anyway, I hope everyone has a good week and I will see you all on Friday when I do my next drill with me. 
and have a good week and uh thanks for coming and if you're subscribed if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you're if you like the video please like it and questions comments please post them below and i will answer um as soon as i can and at the best i can and have a great day guys